Are you looking for a quick sugar glider toy that not only looks great in the cage, but your gliders love? Excellent, because I'm so excited to show you this one. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Morgan of Morgs and Friends. I am a sugar glider vendor, and I also educate on how to keep sugar gliders, um, their diets, everything that you need to know about keeping them. So this is actually uh, another toy making video. This is for the subscription box, um, but also you can watch uh, along with any of it and I'll tell you exactly what you need. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is Morgan. These are my nails. Um, I'm trying a new view, so let me know how you guys like it. Um, and if it makes it a little bit easier to kind of have this view, um, my boyfriend actually suggested this and I thought it was a really great idea. Um, that way you can see, uh, exactly what I'm doing. So this is how the toy kit comes to you. Um, when you order the subscription box, everything's labeled. So for this one, we're going to just open this up. So in here we have our charms and mini links and I'll show you those in a little bit. And then we have the chain and miscellaneous. So this is where you're going to have a lot of those tools that you need. So we open this up and dump this out. So what you're going to have in here is you're going to have your C-Link covers. Now these have like a really sharp plastic bit on those. So you're going to want to make sure you cut those off. I use cuticle trimmers to cut those. And to demonstrate this toy, um, I am not going to be um, cutting the little bits of plastic on the chain off right now just because this is a demonstration. However, um, before you make any toy to give to your gliders, make sure that you remove all of the little plastic pieces. So this is what this is going to look like. If you can see right in there and I'll get a little bit closer to the camera right in there like that's one of the ones you want to cut off um also right over here if you can see my finger now um that can be that's really sharp and it can uh cut them especially because their skin is so thin and delicate okay so for this toy you're going to need one 22 uh inch piece of chain and then you're going to have four seven inch pieces of chain so those are these four right here and then I included seven zip ties these are four inches but and you can easily get them from Jessica's attic you're gonna need C links and C link covers so those are right there so to put this together what you want to do is you want to lay it out as you can, uh, as best you can. I'm trying to make sure I get it in the frame. And what I want to do is I like having even pieces. So if you're doing this at home too, you can do alternating size pieces, but just for the ease of the tutorial, I wanted to do the same size pieces. So I always like to start about in the middle. So we'll do one there. We'll do one there, and we'll see how they look if they're even. We'll do one there, maybe. I like it to be even. And let's see, let's do one there. Perfect. So then basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your zip tie you're going to put it through your chain first and then you're going to, so you see how that just gathered up like that? You want this to just stay right on the side. And remember, I didn't do it for this one, but you want to make sure that all of these plastic pieces on the chain are clipped off. So like in there. So you go through and do it. Um, I know I already talked about it, but I just want to make sure I give the disclaimer multiple times that you will go through and you will trim this off. I like to use cuticle nippers. Um, I have some suggested on my Amazon page um, that I really like. Um, this is also what I do to trim glider nails. So if I were just to close this tight up with it looking like this, 
it wouldn't lay right. So as I work this closed, I want to keep making sure that I move this to the center of the link. If you can, just trying to make sure you can see around my hands. Perfect. So as you can see, that one is securely attached like that and you want to make sure that you tighten it all the way down and then you will so this is what I call the fastener and you will take this and go flush to the fastener and you'll cut that right off so now what's going to happen is you can rub your finger over that and make sure that it's nice and smooth so they won't cut themselves on that okay so now I'm gonna do the other one. So again, I'm gonna put it first through the plastic chain, and then I'm gonna make sure it moved a little bit as I was putting it together. So I like it going right about here. So we'll go right here, and we'll loosely close that up, because as you see, it turned again. So then now we've fixed that. So as I close that, perfect, and then bring that forward. So I like to have my fasteners up in here. So then make sure that it's fully closed. And then again, we'll go all the way down to the bottom where the fastener is with the cuticle nippers and we'll cut that right off. And then we'll check and make sure that's smooth. Perfect, so now we have these two done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where we're at now. I have put all four on. So this is where we're at. So I'll show you at the end what it'll look like once it's hanging, but it will hang really nicely. And what I really love about these toys is they're really great for people with mobility issues or issues with your hands. If you have a hard time like keeping something really tiny in place or maneuvering the zip ties into a place, a lot of times toys like these are really great so you feel like you can still make the toys, but they don't take that much tiny movements, especially if you have arthritis or anything like that. And you can really fill these up with charms. You can put like butterflies um, here. You can use buttons on them and you can really make it yours. You can also put fleece. I know a lot of people that put fleece between the, um, between the little chain slots and that way they have something to pull out and it looks really cool. It, you can kind of make it look like a vine. And these toys are really versatile, and I really like that about them. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put our uh, C-links on the ends. And what I like to personally do is I like to do two C-links on each end, just to give me some flexibility in the hanging of it. And then that's why I gave you four um, C-Link covers as well. So you want to make sure um, that these are on here. So you put it on, um, I like to do it on the one end first, and you push it all the way down. And then you pull that up and over and then just work that in. And what that does is it covers this little opening so that uh, none of the little toes, feet, or hands can get pinched as they're playing. And then this gives you more flexibility to hang it a little bit wider or give it more of a droop. So I'll show you uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you how I like to kind of put it in my cage. I'll hold it up. But yeah, so next then would be just to decorate it and embellish it, embellish it how you want. So um, I really like these bags because they're clear so you can see. I give you a lot of mini links and charms with this one. And then you can alternate how you want it. You can make it look how you want it. Um, you can do fleece along the top. You can do fleece along here. Um, you can do some like really cool like baubles or foraging here if you have that. And just really make it your own. So I really like to make sure that I give you um, enough to like 
make a full toy and then you but you can always embellish it more if you'd like so this is a really big hit with my kids um, for foraging and especially with the fleece too they pull it out and run away with it and throw it because when you're a glider why not um, <laughs> so but yeah um I really like this toy I love how versatile it is I love how um I love how like simple it like looks to get it started but how cool it can look as you make it your own so um yeah let me know what you think in the comments um i really hope that you guys enjoyed this toy as much as i did um if you wanted to too you could also add like um a pulley with like a little bit of like a few short pieces and then a pulley ring onto it and then you can make the pulley from there um, especially with some of the other months um, or if you look at last month's uh, toy videos on the channel I show you how to do pulleys so um, again like I've been saying it is so versatile so let me know what you think in the comments and um, I'll show you this from the front now okay so this is what it looks like from the front um, I hope that uh, that view was helpful so you could really see what I was doing. But then the reason I like having the second C-Link um, is because you could really stretch it tight if you wanted to. Uh, let me just make sure we're not twisted. You could really stretch it tight like if you wanted to. But the thing is you could get this really cool looking curve and have the C-Link go where you want it to. But then have it drop down to have some of... Um, like that give and that look. I think this would look so cool across the back of a cage. And then also, I know my gliders love to jump from like vine to vine to vine. It's like the, um, the physical abilities that I, I've always wanted to be able to do that and it would never happen. So, I, but you could really fill it up with charms, you can really fill it up with like fleece if you wanted to, and just really give them that option to have something really fun to play with. So, um, I hope that this was helpful. Um, let me know, you know, what you all think of these types of toys. I like to leave it open-ended because I'm so creative too that I love, like, being able to take, like, um, when, like, somebody teaches me something, like, um, they're like, okay, like, do this, but then you could add all of these things, and I'm like, yeah, like, thinking about all the things I can add. So let me know if that's you too. Um, I have so many different toys that we can do that with. And yeah, thank you all for being here. Um, if you subscribe to the boxes, um, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, if the boxes are something you want to subscribe to, um, definitely go on the website down below uh, and click the link. It'll tell you all about them. Um, also, if you were subscribed and noticed that you hadn't been subscribed, I sent out a few emails about it. However, um, the old subscription program that I was using, um, completely I don't even know what happened <laughs> but uh, it just had a major issue and ended up like deleting everything and not letting me back in so everybody does have to resubscribe if you haven't already resubscribed um, it is now through my website and everything that's like hosted through my website so it'll be the same account whether you buy something or whether you subscribe it'll be the same account and the same website which I like better anyway so I, I guess it worked out but um, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, if this is something you want to see more of, definitely hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!